welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Twisted Faye and I make traditional and digital art. I hope all of you grab something nice to drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's speed paint. So yesterday I was talking a wee bit about how I start things off. So we'll pick up from where I left off, I suppose. Um, but before I do that, I'll talk a little bit about this piece. Um, this pick is my new offline banner from my Twitch stream. Um, I decided that since it was a new year, uh, that I should start to spruce up my social media and my stream platforms again. Um, this time I wanted my Faye to be doing some sort of like magical thing. Um, I'd originally wanted her to use like a, na like a natural magic um, or like nature based magic. But I wasn't too sure exactly how I wanted to go about it. Um, so in the end, I decided for a butterfly at the very last minute. Um, but you guys will see that. Uh, let me see. Uh, so back to where I left off. I know that I talked about uh, the vector layer being my line art layer. And that doing the line, <laughs> line work is literally really tedious for me. And it really is, guys. It's like a drag to do it. But creating the line art layer is literally my halfway marker to being done. And once it's done, I can set that layer as my reference layer, which allows me to go um, underneath it in the layers below. And I could use the fill bucket and it would only color in like that spot. Well, you guys will see as, the, as it gets past this part, because it's where I'm doing the line art and stuff like that. Um, but I'll go in with a bucket tool and I'll press fill and that's because I set the vector liner or layer to my line art, or, you know, my line art layer as my reference layer. So this allows me to go underneath it and fill it in, like kind of what I wish Psy would do. Like I love Psy. Psy was a great program, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do and this is what I wanted it to do. So I've been with, uh, with Click Paint Studio ever since then, so yeah. Um, but once, once that's done, as you guys have seen, um, and after I fill it in, um, I can, from there I can go back once I have all the flats done to every layer that I need them separate, separated at and stuff like that, like the skin layer, the hair layer, the eye layer, the lashes, you know, stuff like that. Um, I can actually go back once they're all filled out, turn them all off so that way they're no longer visible at the moment. And then I can, I normally start off with coloring the skin like you see me doing here. Um, and let me see, actually to be honest, I always start off with the skin. I don't know why, but it's been my thing and I normally like fully render the face before I move on to anything else. Um, and I have three different styles of drawing digitally. Um, this time I chose with this simple route along with a bit of experimentation as you just saw with the cell shading. Um, so since the skin layer was all filled in and uh, the touch-ups are added, you know, um, when I have to go back in to make sure that there's no white areas or like, you know, blank areas and stuff like that. Um, I go in with the purple, as you can see, and... Uh, cool. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit, <laughs> what you call it, trying to collect all my thoughts. Um, but yeah, I go in with the purple and I start adding the shadows on a layer that is clipped on above the skin layer that I had just filled in. Um, and I set that layer to a multiply layer and then I change the opacity of it. And then once I'm happy with that opacity, I will actually merge it with the, the base uh, color and stuff like that. And then... I make another layer on top of that merge layer and I start adding in these other colors for like the shadows and stuff like that to spruce it up so that way it's not so bland and like boring I guess like there's still some sort of like life color in it it's not like fully shaded like how I normally would do it but it's better than nothing you know um, but I really like how it looks like this uh, I tried different ways to to try out cell shading and I really like doing it this way where I get all the shadows done first and then I go over it with the other colors to add in the blushes and the skin you know colors to make it look like it's not completely pale um, but yeah 
<sighs> so I basically literally, since it's cell shading, I literally repeat this process, like what I do for the skin, um, for the rest of the layers. Uh, so nothing really changes, in all honesty. Um, it just depends on the style that I'm doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> My favorite part, though, out of all of this is uh, when I get to add in the shinies, as I like to call them, but they're the highlights. That's really my favorite part because it means that I am just about done and it's time to wrap up and I hope to God that all my time and energy spent on the drawing was worth it. Um, and it normally is. I've never had like a bad thing with Jiggy. Once in a while I do, like I'm just like, ugh, it could have been better. but. For the majority part, I always feel really, really accomplished that I even finished something, um, and that looks great. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, um, I'm not quite sure what else to say. I know that this was a little bit rushed, and I am thinking about doing some tutorials in the future, but I don't even know where to start on that. But I do like to talk about my approach. Um, in these videos like it's been interesting I really really like it but I would like to not feel rushed because I've only got nine minutes you know or so nine to eleven minutes majority of the time um, so I don't have everything that I would necessarily like to talk about like there's a lot of things that I do and that maybe I can discuss in like if I were to separate them out but there are some some parts of like my art and stuff like that that's just kind of tedious and it's just going back and forth and back and forth and doing the same thing but maybe on a different layer so I'm not quite sure exactly how to talk about that either <laughs> so I'm really really sorry like I said like if there's something you really really want me to touch base on let me know um, I'd be more than happy to answer your guys' question or put a tutorial on it about how I really go about things in like a slower time um, or showing you step by step and stuff like that and rather than having it all be you know rushed uh, but yeah uh, I think maybe next week I'll start talking a little bit more because I think next week's video is kind of a little bit more m my normalish kind of style so I do change things there slightly uh, but we'll see we'll see cross your fingers and uh, yeah <laughs> um, but anyways guys Thank you so much for listening to my ramblings. If you do like my videos, feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to see any of my recent works, follow me on social media or subscribe to my website at twistedfay.com to receive any updates or discount codes for any sales that I have going on at the time in my shop. And yeah, you can find those links down below in the description. And until next week, guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye!